Lindsay from Hello Hydrangea and I have a fun tutorial to share with you today. Um, I have been learning how to use a drop spindle. This is what it looks like to spin my own yarn and it's so much fun. So I wanted to share just a few of the tips that I've learned in case you ever want to try it. These are really inexpensive. You could probably make them yourself. It's just a hook on the top with a disc and a dowel. And my good friend Ashley from Black Sheep Goods sent this one to me. Besides that, you will need some roving. You can also get what's called a roll lag. Roll lag. Um, which is different kinds of roving rolled up together, which is really easy to use too. So I'm going to zoom in and let's get started. What you're going to do is you're going to take your roving. I'm right handed, so I hold my roving in my left hand, just between my thumb and my pointer finger, with the rest of it trailing off onto the side um, next to me. Drop spindle while you're sitting down. This is the method that I learned at least, um, so that while you are spinning, you can hook your drop spindle just by sticking it in between your lap and it'll stay there um, while you're working on the roving. So roving is, it's this like thick chunk of fiber after it has been cleaned and combed but before it has been spun into yarn. Roving is made from thin strands of fiber that are all kind of lined up together but it pulls apart pretty easily. You have to be gentle but firm, if that makes sense, and the more you practice, the better you'll get at it. I'm going to put it in between my hands like this. With my left hand, I'm going to hold the roving. With my right hand, I'm going to pull it out a bit. And then I'm going to hook it around the hook on my drop spindle and bring it back up. I'm going to pinch that together so it's hooked around my um, hook. I'm going to pinch the fold together and I'm going to pull a little bit more with my left hand of the roving. And then I will use the pointer finger and the thumb from my left hand to pinch those together. Let go of the drop spindle so it's out of my lap. Spin it as much as you can. Stick it back in the lap. Pinch with your right hand, pull with your left, and then pinch with your left. About like an inch, just for now, um, where you want to stop. Then let go with your right. And you see that? It's so satisfying. It just goes boing, and it takes all of that twist, and it transfers it as far up until your left hand pinches the fiber. Now I'm going to take my right hand, pinch that section where the twist ends, Use my left hand to pull a little bit more out. This might actually be a little too thick, so I might rip my roving in half. That's the great thing about roving is that you can rip it, you can pull it, um, you can just make it work. So I pulled a little more roving out. I'm going to transfer the pinch to my left hand. I'm going to pick up my spindle, twist it, grab it, park it, transfer the pinch, pinch up along the roving where I want the twist to stop and then let go of the pinch on my right hand and boing that pinch transfers all the way up until my pinch with the left hand. I'm going to do that one more time. Pinch, pull, oops, I pulled it off which is no problem. You can just twist it back together. Let me pull a little more out. Just kind of pinch a little bit of that. Overlap them. So pinch, Transfer the pinch, pick up the spindle, twist, park the spindle again, transfer the pinch, pinch up top, I'm just going to do like two inches, and let go of the pinch. Now if it doesn't transfer the spin all the way up, you maybe didn't have enough spin, you can kind of help transfer it up a little more just manually or pick it up and spin it a little bit more. So that's what it looks like when you have a whole bunch of roving that is spun into yarn. Don't worry about if the thickness kind of varies. It's skinnier here and thicker at the ends. And that's just the beauty of hand spun yarn. So now that I have about a foot of a length, you'll see that my drop spindle has notches on either side. So I'm going to keep the roving hooked onto the hook. I'm going to go around 
into the notch on one side. Wrap it around my drop spindle. And then come up, hook it in the notch on the other side. And around the hook again. That just holds it in place. Now it's around one hook, onto the notch on one side, around the dowel, around the notch on the other side, and hooked again. Now I'm going to continue. So pinch, pull, transfer the pinch, twist, park, transfer the pinch, let go of the pinch. Pinch, pull, transfer the pinch, twist, park, transfer the pinch, pinch up top, and let go. And just keep doing that. Pinch, pull, oops, that's okay. Just pull them so they're both little skinny edges. Overlap, pinch, transfer the pinch, twist, okay, I'm undone again, that's okay. Park, transfer the pinch, pinch up top, let go. Pinch, pull, transfer the pinch, twist, park, transfer the pinch, pinch up top, and let go. You're just going to keep doing that over and over when you get to a long area. Unhook it, roll it up. Hook it again, and keep going. Pinch, pull, transfer the pinch, twist, park, transfer the pinch, pinch up top, and let go. Pinch, pull, transfer the pinch, twist, park, transfer the pinch, pinch up top, let go. It gets super addicting and lots of fun, and the more you practice, the better you'll get. And then later on, I will share a video of how to take all of the yarn that you build up on your spindle and make it so that it stays twisted and usable. Because right now, it'll probably easily come untwisted if you just took it off the spindle. So it needs a little extra care to stay twisted. So it's super fun and super easy to just grab a drop spindle and try and spin your own yarn. And I just want to show you guys how to do it, so I hope you try it out. You can learn more about weaving and macrame and punch needle on my website, hellohydrange.com. Um, click below to subscribe, and I'll talk to you later. Bye. You all done? Yep.